tape. <laughs> Okay, ignore that. Okay, we're good. Um, we synced up the audio and everything. Oh, I'm messing with thing too, but not as bad as not as bad as Katie. Shut up! <laughs> Look at your audio peak. Cause I turned towards you. Yeah. Anyway, tomato, welcome to Tomato Clinic. What I know that what do I what what is this? Who what knows? What do I know about this game? Who anyway, knows? it's no, iPod. It's past bedtime. time. Is Kaylee does that to do whatever? Um, double D's. Okay. Uh, options. Cool. I don't care. Um, what why did do you it? why did you click on it then? I want to see just in case if there's anything that we need to like look at. Yeah, we're fine. I have no idea what this game is. I found it. I thought it was cute. Done. <laughs> we're starting. Can you mess up our freaking audio of the previous game? I'm we're just sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. Ooh. Okay, sh shut Caitlin. up. We're changing our name. We're changing our name to Caitlin. Oh wait. Can you get? You're messing up my everything. I can't. I'm read just laying down here. I'm not even moving. Catlin. All right, Catlin. Do I find our last name? Yeah. Oh. Sorry. I can't see anything. You're the way. Am I really that like large? Um, we are <laughs> she's. Um, oh, what hair should we get? What's like accurate to us? Never mind. Well, we have the, brown the, hair the brown and one. it's longer. Uh, we're pretty pale. Yeah. Vampires! <laughs> you know that wasn't like English. Like you, you, you slurred that. Like you're like vampires. Vampires. Like, though. I'm looking forward to learning about more about vampires. Ah, I love vampires. What's that for? Never mind. I thought for some, my brain just equip. You know how vampires can't touch garlic, kind of thing. Yeah. My brain was like, "Oh my god, tomatoes!" <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Um, I can't change the comments. So I guess that's just us. What is this? I don't know, but you should click OK. Are you okay with the name Caitlin Lee? You can change your pronouns at any time. Oh, yeah, but no, we're good. Go, Katie. Oh, Caitlin Lee fills out a form with a smile. There. Oh, look how cute we are. Yeah. Got the form all filled out. I really should have got that done before actually coming here. Looks like nobody else is here yet, though, so I'm safe. So let it be known that the previous game that we played was like a horror game. It's a don't open your eyes if you, if you heard that game. Basically, this guy whispers in your ear. Um, can't mess up the entire audio. So now we're playing this nice little cute game. <laughs> okay, don't look at me like that. It's your fault. It's not my fault. It was Squirtle's fault. Who put Squirtle there? What else was I supposed to squirrel? You can play that so you can't see anything and squeeze on top of me. That was not English. <laughs> Just read your line. <laughs> it's weird that there aren't any employees here yet either, though. Would it be rude to just yell to see if anybody's in? I mean, if nobody's here, then nobody will think it's rude, right? Hello? Anybody in? Oh, a short young man who looks distinctly displeased comes to the counter. He's wearing a jacket with what looks like a tomato patch sewed onto it. I can't see it. Who are you and why are you yelling? <laughs> you good, Katie? Yeah, you said you can't see it, so I'm trying to rotate. No, my... I mean, like, I can't, you can't see the tomato oh, patch. Bruh. Well, it's actually better. I, just I can rotated see rotated my entire body for you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Ah, sorry. I didn't think anyone was in. Then why the he heck would hell heck did you yell? Like trying to, yeah, he try the to heck? He's trying he... to censor himself. I don't know. I get nervous in unfamiliar situations. Wait, what? I'm Caitlin Lee. Here for the tour. Nice to meet you. This is tomato. Oh, look at my face. This is tomato clinic, right? Ah! Caitlin. Sorry. Oh, heck, is that today? What? Don't tell me I got the date wrong. I'm so sorry. I'll come back later or never if that'd be better. Just calm down for a sec. Let me check the calendar. <laughs> I love the face. <laughs> I know, it's so That's cute. That's really accurate to us. Yeah. Oh, it does start today. Phew. I was worried I screwed that up. I didn't see any other students here, so I thought that maybe I had the wrong place. That's because you're the only one who signed up. <laughs> Wait, you're not joking? Nope, it's just you. Marie said we didn't get only we, we didn't get any other applicants. Who's Marie? My boss. She should be here any minute. Hello! Oh, she's so cute. A young woman in a shirt that also has a tomato patch on it suddenly jumps out. Now I can see the tomato patch. Yeah. Welcome, you must be here for the tour. What? Where did you come from? Boss, you're going to scare away our only applicant if you keep jumping out like that. I'm just trying to be friendly. <gasps> I just realized what this game is! What? Tomato is the blood to make it look like tomato juice. And the vampire is eating them. Oh. 
Hell yeah! I know I do vampire tropes. Oh, I got you. Do you have our applicant form? Yes, right here. So we're gonna get sucked, hmm. basically. <laughs> so your name is Caitlin Lee. Yes, that's me. In the flesh. Oh, my name is Marie. Nice to meet you. Gakuto. It's a Vocaloid character, I think. Do you... Wait, did you introduce yourself yet? I would have, but you just sort of jump and attack, jump attack me. Gakuto, that's no excuse to be rude. Uh, the name's Gakuto. Nice to meet you, I guess. It's nice to be both of you. I'm excited to be here. You know what we do here, then? I did some research ahead of time, but there wasn't too much on the website. It's a b blood donation clinic, right? God. Gakuto? Gosh darn it. <laughs> Why would you come for a tour if the idea of me makes you so uncomfortable? Yes, it's a blood donation clinic. Yes, both of me and- <gasps> Me and for your, for your vampires. I love vampires, by the way. I, I think, think you obviously I, 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 tell. I, I think we already established that. <laughs> Got a problem with that? No, I, I it just haven't been to a place like this before. I'm a bit nervous, that's all. Kakuto, Dakuto, don't be so mean. And don't worry about it, Clayton Lee. Uh, maybe we shouldn't put the full name. <laughs> just gonna always say Caitlin yeah. Lee. <laughs> just like, just read Caitlin. Yeah. You're probably new to this too. <laughs> we we're probably we're pretty new to this too. Actually, you're our very first tour uh tour E. Or tourist? How is that supposed to be reassuring? <laughs> Our roommate just laughed outside and it kind of scared us. And anyone, no, what? Anyone, no point in talking out here. It's anyway. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Let's head inside so I can talk about, uh, talk a bit about what we do. Follow me. Marie disappears as quickly as she came. You can put your backpack down beside the counter if you don't want to car carry it. Oh, that'd be. Before Caitlin can finish, Kakuto leaves as well. Great. Thanks. I guess I should follow them in. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> Caitlin heads to the next room, but for some reason it's empty. It looks like a little it's cafe. It's quite a lot in there. I think with people. People. Huh? Where did they... Are they bats? Oh, never mind. Oh, music is hello. Oh, that's what yeah. that is. That's nice. Yeah. It's like Dong and Rumpa. It's like, yeah. Well, nice practice lesson. Marie jumps out with it. That's our that's outro song. Oh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Marie jumps out with a grin on her face. So, what do you think? G er, what do I think of what? This room. Oh, um, it's very nice. It feels kind of homey. It's a bit different than what I expected, though. Different? Well, it looks kind of like a cafe. Oh, that. It's because it's a cafe. It is a cafe. Oh? I thought this was a blood donation clinic. It is, but it's also functioning as a cafe. When I started this place, my goal was to make it a place where people can relax. Blood donations sound really scary, right? Adding vampire- wait. Adding vampires just makes it scarier. What? No, that's not- Oh, so I guess they get here, they come for coffee and stuff, and they just donate blood for the vampires. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's okay. Well, it's okay. I know most humans are afraid of us. That's part of why I started this place. I want to make a place where humans can get un to understand vampires a bit better. That's why I prepared this. What is this? A quiz on vampires. It's very short. You don't so don't worry. And it's okay if you get things wrong. We just want to check what people gen what, what people's general knowledge of vampires is. Just shout my name when you're done. Do we actually get to take a quiz, please. Marie disappears suddenly as suddenly as she had arrived. Where did she go? I guess I should fill out this quiz, though. It doesn't look too long, so I should be okay. Let's see. Ugh. Oh, nice. Wait, please, Multiple please. choice. Oh, yay. yay. Where do vampires get most of their nutrition? Blood. Yeah. Maybe various food sources. You don't know, but I guess blood. Blood. Obviously. Not sure why this is even a question. Let's check out the next question. What happens to vampires when exposed to sunlight? They burn. Oh. Turn to dust. I guess it's in the form of burning. Or they get sunburns. I don't know. I actually don't know. Uh, from from TVD, I think it's TVD. B the Vampire Diaries. Oh. I think it's B. Yeah. But, yeah. Right. They get burnt. Yeah. I guess if they get too long and then they become ashes. Like yeah, dust. but like. I guess yeah. Sunburn. I guess it makes the most sense. Turning to dust is a bit much. So there's probably some truth behind the rumor, right? Yeah. 
Hmm, let's take a look at the next one. What do you use to ward off vampires? <laughs> uh, all of them. I mean, yeah, but both of them. Close of, I guess ward. I oh, don't know, both of them. I don't know. I think cross. No, because I see like those like cartoons where they have garlic necklaces and they have the cross in their hands with like pitchforks. So the answer is both, but I don't know. What do you um, think of more of? What does TVD say? I don't think either, actually. Then none of the above? No, 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 no. It's definitely something. It's definitely one of those, for sure. I don't know. My brain went more towards... Just do crosses really... Because, like, my brain went more so went towards garlic. Yeah, I think garlic's more effective. Cross is kind of like... Yeah, right? I, would, I, I, would, I would go with garlic, though. Yeah. I'm pretty sure vampires hate garlic. I wonder why, though. Hmm, I'm not too sure about my answer. No point worrying about it, though, I guess. On to the next question. Where do vampires sleep? Coffins. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this feels like it should be the right answer, but is it a bit too obvious? Oh, looks like the next question is the last one. What can Oopsies. vampires turn into? That's <laughs> nothing. Nothing this is a stupid, stupid question. question. <laughs> I love that. That's. Mm. Yeah. Last option makes me think, but <laughs> traditionally people say vampires turn into bats. Anyway, that's all the questions. How do we do? I should call for it. What was her name again? Marie. Yeah. <laughs> Mary pops off from who knows where. Are you finished, Kate Lindley? Ah! I mean, yes, I'm finished. Great, just let me check your answers then. Hmm. 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 <laughs> so, how did I do? Why didn't, why don't you go through the questions? Wait, why don't we go through the questions together? Yeah, the first one's right. We do get most of our nutrition from blood, obviously. Yeah. If it's okay for me to ask, how does it work exactly? Hmm. Be a really lengthy explanation if I get too into it. Like, 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 well, like, think of how you eat food and your body turns into that, that en into energy for you. Glycolysis. <laughs> Good job. Right. For us, we do the same, just with blood. Um, while we can't eat regular food too, we don't process it well. It's kind of like junk food for us. Oh. So it does really give you the nutrition you need. What it doesn't. Oh, so it doesn't really give you the nutrition you need. Exactly. Oh, I'm glad you get it. As for question two, you got this one right too. Vampires get sunburns if we are in the sun too long. How long is too long? Well, it depends on the vampire. Most of us will get bad burns in less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. That's me though. Did, did I tell you the story That's where I, I walked to class and I had a severe, not severe, but like... Summer where like the skin gets like super yes. dry and flaky. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was on I was on dogs he's like at the time, that's why. Mm, oh yeah. Yeah. They just stay inside all the time. Nah, we just use sunscreen with very high SPF. Okay. And make sure to cover our skin as much as possible when heading out in the day. All the windows at Tomato Clinic are specially made to cut UV too. This way we can enjoy daylight without the sunburns. I thought vampires liked the night. <laughs> no, we're forced to. We're forced to only go out at night before. Now we have modern technology to help us. Oh, that's pretty cool, right? Let's look at the next question then. Uh, we're fine with garlic. Uh, sure, we can have our likes and dislikes, but it's not like we're all deathly allergic to to it or anything. So garlic doesn't scare you or anything. Only the idea of having garlic breath. Is the answer to the cross then? Yes, neither. Now nah, the answer is none of the above. Interesting. There's no one. Thing you can use to ward away vampires, like how there's no one thing you can use to ward away humans. Oh, that makes sense. Then why do people think that stuff like the cross and garlic will work? I think it's just one of those weird urban legends. After all, it's very easy to come up with these things uh, like this if you don't know any vampires in real life. Huh. Moving on to the sleeping question. Do you really think we sleep in coffins? Sorry, I don't know. I just. <laughs> it's okay. I know people think that. It's not true, though. We vampires just sleep in beds. Vampires get aches and pains just like humans. So honestly, coffins would be pretty uncomfortable. I kind of want to get a coffin-shaped bed. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to get a, a custom mattress and everything and like custom yeah, sheets or like, whatever. Oh. But that'd be so much fun. Oh, yeah, it would be. I've seen coffin shelves. Uh, I guess that's true. Um, now for the last question. We can't actually turn into bats. You can't. Nope. How about, wait, how would that even work? We actually can't turn to anything. Yeah. I guess it was kind of a stupid question. No questions are stupid. But the quiz said... <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> this is stupid. 
Uh, that was just Kakuto. I think he's annoyed. Um, we thought the quiz was stu was a stupid idea. No, he thought the quiz was a stupid idea. I think it's a nice way to teach people about vampires, though. What do you think? As our first human quiz taker. I thought it was nice. It helped correct a lot of my assumptions. I'm glad. I'm sure you. I'm sure to like Kakuto too. I asked him to read the questions, and he was very annoyed by it. I'm sure he'll be happy to know that he, his work was worthwhile. Well, he he didn't seem very cheerful earlier. Oh, that was just how he is. Don't worry. Anyway, let's check on your score. You got two out of five questions. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we didn't even get fifty percent. Nice. Oh, it's worse than I thought. Don't look so glum. That's almost half. Wow. I'll give you a chance to try again later too. Hopefully, you'll remember the answers next time. Now that we've got our icebreaker all done through, we can start with one of our vampire clinic experiences. What? For the tour! You you didn't think it was just going to be all quizzes, did you? Honestly, I wasn't really sure what I'd sign up for. Well, soon as um, so you can find out. We've got a lot of fun activities set up for you. Or Gakuta has, at least. I'll go get him. Marie runs off through, through a different door. Marie seems very energetic. Too sweet. It's nice. This whole place is pretty nice, actually. The decor is cute and the general atmosphere is relaxing. What? Did you- wait, what? Did you expect it all to be red and titanic and bats? Kakatu shows up, looking just as displeased as earlier. No, I- Then, what were you expecting? I- well, maybe I was kind of expecting something like that? With more candles and chandeliers, maybe? Chandeliers? We're vampires, not Victorians. Sorry. It's just when I see vampires in the media. Yeah, I know. Sorry about your head off. Er uh, figure of speech. <laughs> that was a lot of weird stereotypes about this. That's why Marie set up this clinic and why I'm helping out. That's really nice of you. Uh, yeah, sure. How does the quiz go anyway? Oh, the quiz? <laughs> I did okay. Yeah, I'll huh? say that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't do great, but I'll be sure to do better next time. Oh, good luck with that. Anyway, I'm supposed to be your tour guide. First up on the activity list is... The Vampire Sunscreen! It's cutine! Marie suddenly pops up to Kakuta's right. Ah! What? And she disappears again. Is that some kind of vampire talent? What? Oh, you mean Marie disappeared out of nowhere? I wish. It's just, Marie. It's, just, it's just a Marie thing. Nice. Anyway, as Marie said, our first activity is a common part of Vampire's usual morning routine. Well, we'd like to go through the whole morning. What? We're currently a bit understaffed, as you can see. So we only have the sunscreen bit set up so far. We only have the sunscreen bit set up so far. What does that mean? Sunscreen? Oh. Like, the, like you know how they're going to show us how they put on sunscreen? Yeah. Like, that's the only, like, part of the tour that they have set up. So oh, that's it? Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, as Marie told you earlier, vampires sunburns are, sunburn very easily. So, we're very careful about applying sunscreen. So, how is it supposed to work? Am I supposed to put sunscreen on you? What? No. That would be weird. We have a dummy for this. Wait, we have a dummy for this. What? We're not using actual sunscreen. Let me just set it up. Gotta stand it up right. <laughs> oh, so cute. Make sure it's secured. Uh, okay. Or is that supposed to be a vampire? Yeah. A pretend one. A pretend one. There's a bunch of clothes for you to choose from. Oh, we can choose the clothes! The goal is to pick out an appropriate outfit for a vampire. Then you put sunscreen on. Or, well, fake sunscreen. Since our dummy is made of whiteboard. Since, uh, just use this yellow marker and, uh, to apply the sunscreen. Then I'll let you know how well your vampire outfit would fare in the sun. Sounds good? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds fun. I'm ready to start. I'm gonna move my mouse a little bit. Okay, there we go. Just stick on just stick on the fake clothes and the sunscreen and let me know when you're done. Got it. Woo! Oh my god, the Yay! No head no, you gotta get a hat. Hell yeah. Oh my god, a top hat. Can we get Aww, a top hat? So cute. Oh no, I want a top hat. Straw hats have holes in it. They'll give you sunburns. <laughs> it's true. Especially long sleeve. Oh my god, I oh can't! God. Oh my god, it's oh god, It matches! It matches! It's like, oh hell yeah. He's gonna be like, no one's gonna wear this in real life, but who cares? This is, yeah. you, don't, you don't need pants. 
Yeah, you basically don't even sunscreen with this outfit. Oh, jeans? Tights. Oh my god, tights. Dude, this is so cute. You see your sunscreen well, your face, that's it. Boots. Dude, the boots fit. Oh my god, like the match of the Oh, outfit. this is like really satisfying. <laughs> Click the dummy to apply sunscreen. Yeah. Oh, a lot. Hell yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> just, he's gonna oh, be like, who man. wears this? Just... Dude, I would wear this. It's been amazing. I would look so cool. Yes. I'm more than okay with it. I think this should be okay. Hey, Gokutu. Gokutu returns to the room. You done? I think so. Would you like to take a look? Okay. Well, first, the outfit. You gave him the most cliched vampire outfit. Black cape and red dress. Well, a top hat too. And matching boots. That said, it's a good choice. Capes like these cover a lot of skin. That's why they're used to be pretty popular among vampires. For sunscreen, though, you actually put on enough. <laughs> you went with a thick layer of sunscreen. It's important because usually people put on way too little. So I did okay? Yeah, you did okay. Yes! Don't get too carried away, though. Anyway, that was the activity. The idea was to give you a little idea of what a vampire goes through. As a way to say, hey, we're not- we're just normal people who's trying to live our lives. You good, kind of, Yeah. Are you sleeping? Are you really sleeping? Oh my goodness! Maybe. Read your line! It's kind of- you, did you really not notice? No. Oh, I was- I was- I, I thought you're slowing down, but yeah, no. So I thought for a couple of lines, I thought I was, uh, it was on my line for a little bit too long, and I thought you would have noticed. Oh wow, okay, I did pretty good for a while. I thought there. you were slow, but like I thought you were just getting tired. I didn't think you were actually sleeping. Oh yeah, no, I'm kind of sleepy. Oh, wake up! It's kind of more boring than I expected. I always thought vampires were more. It's because this game's so relaxing. <gasps> I don't know. Sexy? Or scary? Or both? Sure, that's how we often portray the media, but... Most of us are just boring people mm. who buy a lot of sunscreen. Huh. Thanks for telling me about this. Dude, sunscreen is so expensive. It is. I never really thought about it before. As someone who does sports indoors. <laughs> what do you mean? I played lacrosse. Oh yeah. Just doing my job. Anyway, I need to pre prep for the next activity. We're here for a bit. I also went to summer camp all the time as a kid. Ah. So I was outside a lot. So I had to like lather up because I burned very easily. And I was a swimmer, so. Yeah. <laughs> Nakatu walks out of the room. Oh, my stomach hurts. Taking the dummy with him. Dot dot. I guess I'll do what Nakatu said. Before Caitlin gets out. Wait. Before it's Caitlin anytime. gets any time to wait, Marie shows up again. How was the activity? Eek. <laughs> oh, what? Sorry. How did you like- wait, how did you like the first activity? You know? The vampire sunscreen routine! That was huge. Oh, that. That was the before I know, too. I know, I okay. know. I just didn't make the- I actually realized that. I just didn't, like, say it out loud that time, so... I wanted to say it out loud this time. It was pretty interesting. I wanted to say it out loud this time, is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Is that not what it sounded like? I don't think that thing. <laughs> <laughs> did I really sound like that? No, the out loud didn't really come out that well, though. I couldn't hear it. But I- context-wise, I understood it. Mmm. I see. Oh, I'm really glad. It took a lot of time cutting through the whiteboard to the right size. Oh, the way that like my body is like oriented with this burrito blanket, I see no brown parts, so it's just white. Oh yeah, the burrito blanket itself. Yeah, like I don't see like cause I think there's I one down it. here. Yeah, but like the way it's oriented, like I couldn't see that. Well, it's a white blanket now. Oh, sorry, I'm in pain. Stop questionable sound effects. Oh, I'm read. sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, that's me. Yeah, what? kill it. You, you missed your previous line, that's why. Oh. Oopsies. I guess that's just the menu. Oh, log. You cut it yourself? There we go. Yep, we're pretty sure I'm fine, so most of the stuff here is a DIY. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, we try our best. Sorry, I got a bit off topic. I'm actually here because it's time. For a requiz. That was really quick. I a know, requiz? what? A chance for you to take your vampire quiz again. I think it should be pretty easy since you already t uh, know the answers now. I'll try my best. Here's a new sheet. Just let me know when you're done. Really, Caitlin felt the quiz. Okay, try again. Blood. Blood. Sunburns. Sunburns. None of beds. None. No, no, beds. Oh, beds. Sorry. Beds. Sorry. They don't sleep. Whoopsie. Caitlin. 
Um, nothing. This is a stupid question. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Marie, finish quiz. As soon as Kaylin calls out, Marie appears. That was fast. Let me see. Question one is correct. Vampires, man, swords, man. Oh, Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, wait, wait. We really just tried to make friends with us. Last year, like, incorrect. Uh, vampires need to sleep when sleeping, but it's not common. Correct. That's a total score of five out of five. Perfect. For that, you get a prize. Prize. Yep. Here. Oh, we got a tomato pin with them! Oh, I would love a tomato pin, actually. You have one? No, I said I would love a tomato pin. I don't like tomato. Actually. No, but it's just so cute. It is cute, but I hate tomato. Well, okay, I like tomatoes, but, like, by themselves? Because uh, they're easily overpowered with other flavors, so I yeah. can eat it with other things. Got, but, like, by themselves, I can't. I understand. A tomato pin. Wait, with this? <laughs> You're part of the tomato club. Or, what's that? A club of vampires and friends. You're the third member. Oh, nice. Oh. Because, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. I'll have you take your vampire knowledge and share it with your friends, too. I'll try. Thank you for the pen. Cool. I think our culture should be done soon anyway, so I'll leave you two, t I'll leave you two to it. Ray walks out through one of the doors. Oh. Ow! I have but a key to wake up. That hurt. Really? Yeah, I have a stroke now. No. Your head's so hard. <laughs> okay. Why is your head so hard? Is that a compliment or uh Do you want it to be? I don't know. You can be what you want it to be. Thank you. Oh, she actually walks out normally this time. I guess I'll just wait for Rakuto to come back. I can take a little look around here in the meantime. I can feel my hand pulsating. They have some interesting magazines. I've never seen most of these before. Vampire Weekly, Fra Fang Outpost, Wired for Nights. Did you hear my jaw, like, close? No. Because my mouth is open? Hurry it up. Tell us how hurry it up. Gagato walks in and notices Caitlin looking at the magazines. You can't you can't take a look at them if you want. Ah no, sorry, I was just The eye is not capitalized. Like you. I said it been like that for a while. No. Oh. Like I said, feel free to take a look at them. They're there for visitors to look at after all. Oh, okay. Maybe a bit later. Whatever. Do what you want. I have the next activity for you when you're ready though. I am. Ready that is. What's that next activity? A backstage tour of sorts. Of sorts. I'm going to show you the process we go through before a blood donation. Okay. okay. We're going to be wait. We're going to be looking at blood and stuff. Are you going to be okay with this? I will be fine. Yeah. We work with blood ourselves. We work with blood. Yeah, <laughs> we do. In small portions, but whatever. Yeah. You sure? I will. I was just caught off guard. Sorry. Really haven't done anything like this before. Yeah, I can get that. It's really nothing to be nervous about, though. Let me show you. Hmm. Rakuto takes Caitlyn to a lounge area. This is where the blood donations happen. Huh, it doesn't look very clinical. Yeah, Marie wanted the room to look like look as inviting as possible. To make sure people could feel comfortable. We visited a bunch of other clinics in other areas before deciding on the look of Tomato Clinic. It definitely makes me feel relaxed, at least. I guess it was worth... Well, yeah, that's funny. I guess it was worth the work we put into it, huh? What? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Nothing. Anyway, let me explain the process. Not much... Wait, how much do you know about the blood donation? Not very much, honestly. I've only ever had blood tests, but that's about it. Okay, I'll start with at the beginning. First off, just to clear any possible misunderstandings. Both Maria and I are certified to draw blood. All vampires working at donation clinics are required to be certified. For both the regular humans method and the vampire assisted method. Regular humans method probably means using a needle, but what's the vampire assisted method? I'm guessing you don't know much about vampire things, right? No, sorry. Well, you've probably heard stupid serious stories about people getting pleasure from vampire but what? I have I have heard stories like when you when a vampire bites, they have like a numbing effect so the human can't feel it. Oh. Her looks like that. I don't know about a pleasure one. Maybe. Interesting. 
Yeah, I have. That's not how it works. Oh. <laughs> Our fangs have a substance which is not. There you go! Uh -huh. Which is a natural anesthetic with a calming effect. They're also very sharp and pointy, so the wound left behind is very small. At blood donation clinics, the process is simple. Bite then draw. You missed your line. First we bite to create a very small wound. Then we use a needle to draw out the blood. Wait, why don't you just suck it out? Uh oh, but why not just... <laughs> yeah. Use a needle in the first place? Unfortunately, blood loss... Blood losses is... It's, wait. Blood loses its nourishing qualities when they... When, wait. Very quickly after leaving the body. That is, unless they're first established by a substance in our fang. Well, it can be easier to just, just bite and suck from the source. We can't expect a human to always be available when a vampire gets hungry. That's why- that's where the blood donation comes in. Uh-oh. We draw bl what? It's really late. Yep. We draw blood and distribute it to vampires who need it. Oh, <laughs> they like a vampire food bank. Something like that, yeah. Everything makes sense so far? I think so. Before we actually draw the blood, though, we do a, hum a health check to make sure everything's okay. I'm getting hungry. What kind of issues could there be? Popcorn? <laughs> I hope it's the time for us to oh, eat popcorn. Oh, I hope it's the time for us to eat popcorn. I haven't had popcorn in a while. It might actually help me, like, but I'm too lazy. Should we pull up the popcorn break real quick? Okay. Here you go. Me? Yeah, they'll get it. No. It'll look you up. Okay, I'm not. Oh, okay. For example, maybe the person's blood is, in, and is infected with something and they don't know. They might have recently taken medicine that prevent them from, taking, from donating. Mm. They might just be feeling sick and donating blood can make them feel worse. Hmm. <laughs> Once we confirm that everything's okay, then we start the um, blood donation process. The human gets comfortable on the couch and the vampire takes their arm. Arm? Not neck? Well, it's true that it's easier to drink blood from the neck. Since we're drawing the blood out of, through the needle, it's easier to do it through the arm. Like a regular blood donation. Oh, I guess that makes sense. One thing we make sure is, uh, make sure it's very clear though, is that it's okay to stop at any time. We always want to make sure that both the human and the vampire are comfortable with everything. So if the human feels uncomfortable, we call it off. Some same for the vampires feel if the vampire feels uncomfortable. Maybe you start feeling dizzy during the donation. Or you just change your mind. You don't need a reason. If someone says stop, everything stops. We'll even give you a button uh, you can press just in case you're anxious about something say uh seeing it out loud. Wow. You're really prepared. Well, we're asking people to give their blood to us. <laughs> okay, so what happened was that I hit Katie to wake up. Mm. My brain, like, just subconsciously processed that as I clicked the <laughs> mouse. <laughs> oh, Katie, you're messing up. Katie's hitting everything. Stop, don't touch it. Put your hand down. Katie, no. Mm. You wake up. You told me to sleep when you fall asleep. <laughs> you want to make sure that we have their complete consent. Mm. Anyway, that's the end of the presentation. Mm. Hopefully you got a better Just idea of our blood donation process now. I think I do, thanks. Great, I'm going back to the clinic, uh, cafe area to prep for the next, uh, last activity. Can you wait there until I'm done? Got it. Cool. Now I could do leaves the lounge air Oreo? Did area. I say Oreo? No, it's Oreo. <laughs> like Oreo. The blood donation process is a lot more complicated than I expected. I guess I should just wait here. <laughs> Trying to make Katie uncomfortable by rubbing her leg. <laughs> yes. yes. What? Marie? Yeah, until Marie. <laughs> Sorry, my eyes are like, oh, hi. Ray slides into the room. Who? Isn't there? That's oh. what? Oh. The A's look like O's to me. Cause you're not, cause you're sleeping. No, 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 no. Like even Cause like, you're sleeping. Even like before that. There's an obvious line next to the O. No, there's not. Katie's grabbing my arm in a weird, weird, weird. I don't like that. No, 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 I'm ticklish. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I will, I will, I will destroy. <gasps> good, maybe it's good that you destroy me. There isn't even a door on that side of the room. What? No, Katie! I didn't do anything! No! Kill it. I didn't touch them! Katie! Like, no! Kill it. I'm not even touching anything. No! I'm not, even no. I can't. I'm not even touching anything near you. Like, relax. Calm down. Where on earth did you come from? <laughs> That's a secret. Technically, this is 
Oh, hold on. Sorry, the the keyboard's freaking out. Okay, technically this time is scheduled for a quiz today, but since you already passed the quiz, though, do you want to ask me any questions? Questions. Well, how common are vampires? Can people turn into vampires? Or not right now. I'm actually curious about the first one. How about you? Me too. Me too. How's common? How common are vampires compared to humans? It really depends, honestly. Vampires tend to live in a small community. <laughs> yes. L lately, though, you have more vampires like Akuto and me moving in big cities and such. Now that humans know a bit more about vampires, it's easier for us to live among humans. Really? I've lived here my whole life, but I don't think I've seen more than a couple of vampires. I mean, you can't really tell they're we're vampires at first glance, right? If you're not looking too closely, we really just look like pale-skinned humans. Oh, that's true. You might actually know a couple of vampires without knowing it. I wonder <laughs> if I do. Any other questions? Are you a vampire, Katie? Don't worry about it. <sighs> Say no. Why? Because I want to be a vampire. Because <laughs> you what? Because I want to be a vampire. Why can't I be one? Can people be turned into vampires? No, that's absolutely not possible. Sorry, I knew that already. So it says in the books I've read before. It's just... People still say that we can, right? Being a vampire is, in a, it is a disease. It's not contagious. We can't infect anyone with it. It's just one of those unfor uh, unfortunate myths that spread. Sorry for bringing it up. Don't apologize. I'll happily answer any questions like this if it means I can clear things up. Any... that's you. Okay, any more questions? Hmm, questions. I'm okay for now, I think. Okay then. In that case, that's everything for me. Kakuto will let you know when we're ready, so just stay there. Ray disappears again, though in a different direction this time. I wonder if there's our secret passageways in this place. Nah, that'd be a bit much. <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to make noises, Caleb. I'm trying not to make noises. 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 Oh, ow. I'm hitting Katie's special points again to wake her up. <sighs> but last time I... Well, the first time I, first time I did this while recording, Katie made some really questionable noises. So now you're really trying not I'm to. I'm really trying not to make noise, but Caleb, it's so hard. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. I know some pretty painful um, pressure points. Oh no, it's because it's my left arm. As if I'm cute, Bakuto comes in. Hey, Caitlin, I got, I'm done signing things up. Let's go back to the cafe area. Bakuto mm. leaves without waiting for a reply. I guess I should follow him. Oh, a little candle. Caitlin goes into the cafe area. Ah. Sorry, the menu popped up. Is it new? But it looks completely different. The room is dim, and the only source of light is a candle on the table. Wait, what? It didn't look like this before. I mean, I said I was prepping, right? What is this for? An old vampire tradition. I'm blood testing. Tasting. Blood? Or I... Don't worry, I'm not, actu I'm not actually gonna make you drink blood. We're doing a human-friendly version of tomato juice. Then what? It's like, humans have holidays, right? Yes. And for those holidays, you usually gather people together, right? Yeah, for family dinners and such. Well, vampires don't eat. Oh, right. So, we usually do, we usually do this instead. Wait, we wait. So what we usually do instead is have a blood tasting together. Humans share food, vampires share blood. Food's a big part of human culture, right? I guess. Dude, my teeth are gonna destroy themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Sorry. Blood fills the same role in vampire culture. But how does that... I'll explain, but first... I want to check that you're okay with doing this. We're not really... It's not, it's not using real blood, but... The idea is that we're going to pretend we are. Of course, even yes. when we... <laughs> You did it just before I even finished. Yes. Even when we uh, use actual blood, it's, act it's always blood that's drawn from con with consent. But if you don't want to do this activity, you don't have to. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. If it's okay, I want to try. 
how my eyes. To be honest, I do feel a bit nervous. Here we go, kitty. Mm, I am, I am. I can't. No, sound effects don't, kitty. That's a, that's a questionable sound effect. I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's just... Pain? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like residual. It's still there. Yep. Oh. Oh, I don't think I've ever done anything. My arm feels like it's like gonna like fall off of its <laughs> body. Yep. Anything like a blood tasting before? I still like to try it though, if that's okay. Hey, Katie, are you sure your butt's not messing up with the audio? Kill my butt's not that big. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. I'm a little pancake. Read it. I come here to learn more about vampires, after all. If you let me participate in a bit of your culture, I'd really be happy. Sounds like we're okay then. Now, let me explain how blood tasting works. There are actually many different kinds with different steps. The one we're doing today is for when one vampire invites another to their household. It's meant it's meant to show hospitality as well as trust. Oh, sort of like serving drinks to guests at a party. Well, it's usually a bit more formal than that. There's a vessel filled with blood, in this case tomato juice. Uh, the vampire who is hosting, in this case me, pours a glass for the guest. That would be me? Yeah, it's polite to serve the guest first. Next, the guest will return the favor and pour a glass for the host. The point is to show that they are honored to be a guest. Then both parties take a sip, but just a small one. When next, the vampire clicks their glass together. Hmm, they really make a they really make a toast after they've already drunk. Have you have you retained any of that, Katie? No. Were you awake for it? Yeah. Are you sure? Us. <laughs> you gotta stay awake, kitty. <laughs> Come on, kitty, read your line. I see that you're doing that one. Oh, my the idea is that since they already. Sorry. The idea is that since they already, already taken a sip, part of their self is left on the glass. And by clicking the glass together, they're sharing that part of themselves with each other party. With the other party. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. A blood tasting is usually done when somebody invites somebody over for the first time. It's a way of saying, I'll trust you in my home. I trust you in my home. Part of trusting somebody is entrusting them with yourself, so that's what a blood tasting is meant to show. That's really interesting. <laughs> I was perfect for a slap. Finally, both... Vampires drink until the glass is empty without stopping. Again, this is meant for to show trust. Not emptying the glass would show hesitation to accept the other vampire's offers of, of trust. Wow, there's a lot of thought put into all the actions, huh? To be honest, I think most vampires don't really think about it that much. We just do blood tastings, tastings as a way be, uh, this way because that's how they've always been done. That sums up the steps, though. Are you ready to try? I think so. Did your family have like some kind of ritual that you guys do every year or something like that? Yeah. Like just some family tradition that you do. Do you have anything like that? Family tradition? Like every year, for say on a holiday or something, you always do this. Yeah. What? Um, first thing that came to mind. Oh, perfect. I love story times because I could just close my eyes. Um, first thing that came to mind was New Year's Eve onto New Year's Day. My dad and I would always, because my mom always has work, so my dad and I would always just stay up together and then we would play video games, but then for the last hour we would always end on this one video game. Um, it's called Ninja Town. It's like very old. I have it on the DS and um, I would I have a 3DS and a DS, so I would take one and he would take one and then we would play co-op and we would fight against each other. And we play that only on January 31st, every January 31st. Interesting. Oh, that's nice. For me, we're very Korean. Okay, you naughty. The, uh, you flip the sticks and then you go, ooh, and you move. And we do that for New Year's. I see. I think that's only started fairly recently for as New Year's counts, but mm. yeah. We put a little bit of money on it. A little friendly money. Mm. This time, now that my sister-in-law's 
now that my brother's married and sister-in-law, we like have two groups with my parents, my sibling, my sister and I, and then my brother and his wife. Hey. <laughs> I'm slapping Katie. What? I'm slapping Katie. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's sit on the table then. I'll pour you a glass. Okay, do you remember what to do next? All right, Katie, do you remember what to do next? What is this? Oh, shit, I think I read it wrong. I thought I thought we also pour a glass, but it might be pouring this. No, 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 we pour a glass. Good job. The first step is returning the favor and pouring a glass for your post. Okay. Do you remember what to do next? Okay, you don't remember? Do you remember what to do next? Did I slap your boob? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. What do you do? You remember what to do next? Um. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> playing with your ear to wake you up. What is this? This is very interesting. All right, Katie. So I just poured a glass. So he just poured a glass. He just poured me a glass, and I poured him a glass. Now what do we do? We pour each other glasses. Um, yeah. Are all these answer choices used? No. Katie. Do you do you clink? No. He failed. Oh. You sip. Right, we take a sip from each from the glass. Next, what do we do? Now, what do we do, Katie? You pour the glass into the other glass. No, we clink. Oh. Yep, yeah. we clink glasses. That's a sign of trust. Now, what do we what do we do last? All right, Katie. You drink the rest. There you go. <laughs> because it's the last step. Right, we we down the rest of our glasses. That's it. A vampire blood testing. What do you think? Thank you for doing this with me. I'm really glad I had the chance to experience it. Though we used to manage those, but that was pretty much exactly how the blood testing usually goes. I'm glad you seem to have enjoyed it. Huh? Nothing. Oh. Honestly, that was an education. That was educational in some way or another. Hopefully. Whatever. Well, anyway. That's the last activity. Which means this is the end of our tour. Oh. That was quick. And you head to the reception. Or we should be waiting for you there. Okay, how about you, Gakuto? I'm going to clean this up first. Oh, I got it. I'll see you later. Yay! Caitlin heads back to the reception area. I think this is the end of the game already. Huh? Marie isn't here yet. Marie walks into the room. Hi, Caitlin! Hi, Marie. I come I come back here. I came back here since the tour is over. Right, and thank you for taking part of our tour. You should have seen, though. You should have seen this as well when signing up. But at the end, we have an optional blood donation. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Wrong. Oh right. There you go. I remember seeing. That. Of course, this is only if you want to. We also wait. You'll. But you'll also have to pass our health check first. Today, both Kakato and I are available for blood donations. Just let me know if you if you'd like to donate, and if you would, and if you would, who'd you like to draw your blood? A blood donation. Okay, Katie. Um, Answer the question. Do you like Kakato or Marie better, Katie? Um... Or do you not want to donate blood? No, I want to donate blood. Um... I like them both. Yeah, me too. I, I really I really like them both. I don't know how to pick one. I don't either. That's why oh. I was hoping that you would choose oh, one. I really, I really like them both. Oh, is, is this a point to save and then try a... Oh, yeah. Let's try them both. Yeah. Yeah. So first, Gakuto. Okay. I like Gakuto to try my blood if that's okay. Of course. I'll take you to the lounge. Ooh. Helen goes to the lounge area where Gakuto is waiting. You decided to do the blood do donation then? I did. Oh, I guess I already explained this earlier, but first we'll have to do the health check to make sure everything's okay. Then we'll make you sit on the couch. I'll use my fangs to create a very small wound on your arm, and I'll use my needle to draw out the blood. I'll keep you company um, until the blood donation's done. One thing I want to make sure you understand is. You can ask me to stop anytime, I got it? Got it. If you want to stop, you can press this button. 
I'll let you know immediately and I'll stop the donation. If that, if you're okay, we can start with the health check. Oh. Okay. It looks like everything's in order. We can start now. We can start now if you're good. Well, let's see what happens if we push the button later on. Let's 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 do blood. I'm good. I can start. Okay then. Why don't you sit down on the couch and give me your arm? Perfect. I'm going to use antiseptic on your on your skin first. Okay, I'm going to bite and I'll sting a little bit. Um, if you feel uncomfortable, just tell me to stop. Okay, that's done. I'm going to put the needle in now. I'll be using this to draw the blood out. Let me know if you want me to stop. Okay, the needle's in. I'll take about 10 minutes for enough blood to be drawn out. I'll keep you company until it's done. Thanks for doing this, by the way. We are... Why are you thanking me? I know I wasn't. I will. I know I wasn't exactly polite today. Honestly, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do these tours for humans. Humans haven't exactly been really kind to me. Oh, being a vampire is really uncommon enough. But on top of that, I'm trans too. Oh, so it can be a lot. That sounds really tough. It can be. That's part of why I agreed to Marie's stupid plan. I didn't think there was really any point, but if it could if it could get people to stop being so stupid about vampires, then even just a little, I thought maybe it'd be worth trying. You definitely helped me learn a lot about vampires, so I really appreciate this tour. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that was sweet. Okay, the blood donation is finished. Already? Yeah, we're done. That was faster than I expected. I want to leave you some juice and snacks. Then you're done with them and feel okay to move, uh, come to the front. I got it. I wonder how they sustain um, financial. Maybe it's the cafe. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just eat three biscuits then. These. Three these biscuits. <laughs> what if I want three biscuits? That's just being selfish. What? Keelan goes to the front of the cat clinic. Hi, Gagato. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Okay, take this pamphlet. Pamphlet then. It was. It has general general info about what not to offer. Wait, what not to do after the blood donation? Uh, got it. Thanks. That's it for today then. Thanks for coming. Thanks for both of having me. I enjoyed the tour. Marie's thinking of some new tour ideas right now, so you can come back again if you want. I said you can come back again if you want. Aww. Oh. oh, you wouldn't mind? Why would I? We can't run this clinic without visitors. That's true. But what I mean to say is I wouldn't mind if you come back again. I enjoy showing you around too. Oh, then i definitely like to come back again. I'm looking forward to it then. Oh, that was so cute. That was so cute. Mm. Oh, whoa. That scared me. Me too. Sorry. Um, sorry. I want to stop the blood. Oh wait, wait. wait did you do that? Yeah, I'm just testing out the other endings. Oh, I just. Oh wait, did we finish? That's okay. You don't have to tell me why. Do you think you can sit by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Let me give you a snack and some water. Here, have this. Thanks, I feel a bit better. Don't worry about it. Are you done? I'll walk you to the front. Here's your backpack. Oh, I almost forgot. Thanks. And sorry. Don't apologize. It's completely fine. Um, you're always free to come back if you feel like donating blood another time. You wouldn't mind? Of course not. I think Marie'd be happy to have you back. And like I said, I wouldn't mind seeing you get around 
I can run. Oh, and I can get it either. Ah, I thank you. Oh, we thank you. What? Nothing. Anyway, I mean it. Come back again if you want. It doesn't even have to be for a blood donation. We're always open for human visitors. If you say so, then. Anyway, here's a few brochures about our clinic and vampires in general. Thanks. I'll read through them when I get home. Nice. Okay, then. I hope you'll be back soon. Yay! Aww. Oh, it's not our ending. Now they're ending. Let's go. But let's let's relate to him. I guess. We're not the vampire bit though. Ah, oh, then you can fully understand a bit of, one of what we vampires go through. Even though it's a bit different. That's part of why I agreed to Marie's stupid plan. I didn't think there was really any point, but if I can get people to stop doing stupid things, yeah, same thing. Okay, same thing. If we proclaim to be um, saying me too versus um, must be it must be tough. All right. Okay, kitty, kitty, kitty. Mm. Ew, be my pleasure. Let me take you to the lounge then, and we can get started. Mm. Marie takes Caitlin to the lounge area. <laughs> Marie. <laughs> I think we were, I think that was, I thought that was your line. No, I was wondering what you were doing. <laughs> I was, I was messing I with Katie's ears. I was so confused what you were doing. I think I could have already, um, talked, oh, oh to sorry. you about this. Did I destroy you? But I wanted to explain again, just in case. Mm. First, we're going to do a health mm. check, just to make sure everything's okay. Then we'll get you comfy on the couch. After that, I'll use my fangs to cut your, uh, on your arm to create a very tiny wound. And then I'll use a needle to draw out the blood. It'll take about 10 minutes to draw the blood out. Don't worry, I'll stay here until you're done. Also, one important thing. You can tell me to stop anytime at all. Doesn't matter when. If you don't want me to stop, I'll stop. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Yep. If you want me to stop, just press this button. It'll give me a buzz and I'll stop right now, right away. If you're ready, we can start with the health check. Okay, looks like you're a super good health. We're going, we're good to go. <laughs> right here, we're starting the blood donation. Okay, now I get to do the little savies. Yay. See, so yeah, I mean, in the end, it's gonna be the same, but might, not, might as well look at all the dialogue options. Yep. So, what happened in the other ones? Good job. Okay, let's sit down and on the couch here then. I just remember. I just remember on the other ones. Mm hmm. Getting. Oh, what was I gonna say? I remember. I have a mouth that I can breathe out of. <laughs> what did you remember, Katie? I don't remember what I remembered. <laughs> I don't remember what I remembered. I I had a really good thought and then I forgot it and now I'm kind of sad. But it has something to do with... No, I'm going to make myself sound like an idiot if I continue talking. No, 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 no. Let's see. What, 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 was, it about? what was it about? No. What was it? Katie, don't, don't, don't tease us like that. Katie, that's such, a, that's such a tease. I'm a teaser. No. Katie. Uh. Such a tease. Uh. Nah, give and me your arm. I'm you just going to do just do your what skin. If it tingles, now I'm going to use the things to be very little bite. I won't say nothing. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, we're good. Okay, the bite's done. Now I'm going to put the needle in. The needle will draw the blood again. Let me know, and we're good. Okay, the deal's done too, and now we just have to wait for the blood to be drawn. And how are, th how are you feeling? A bit nervous, but okay. Ha, <laughs> that's pretty much sums up how I'm feeling. What are you nervous about, Marie? Honestly, I've been nervous all day, but uh, that something will go wrong. It's our first time doing a tour for a human. We've done test tours with other vampires for practice, but it's not the same. I'm really happy that our first human tourist was you, though, Caitlin. Huh? Why? Because it seems like you really want to learn more about vampires. Why else would I want to have, have to come here? Well, you'd be surprised. We had some people sign up for the tour with obviously fake info. We obviously turned them away, but a lot of people weren't happy about how about a vampire clinic being in this part of the city. I bet you were a bit unnerved when you first heard about it too. I. Oopsies. Oh yeah, that's right. I push my button. Okay. You little stupid. You little stupid. I ain't. 
Hey, you. <laughs> Hello. Hey, little. Hello. Dumb. I think I keep saying you're very dumb. Keep, why are you keep answering dumb? I was a little. I think I was a little. I wasn't sure about what a vampire clinic what he even was, and I might have imagined some really stupid things. It's like a healing. You're here now, right? Yeah. You're proof that there are humans who are okay with vampires. And I think there's a lot more out there. Sure, we've received quite a handful of threats in the mail, too, but there's been a lot of people who just came by and tech, uh, uh, to take a look at our brochures, too. Harry shows cheerful about it. Well, we have to start with somewhere, right? A couple of years back, we wouldn't have been able to do s uh, to open this place at all. Well, uh, slowly but surely, though, he said more humans are learning about vampires and acceptance is spreading. Whoa. Uh, why stay whoa? What did happened? Did not feel my body just, like, have a moment? Are you having a seizure, Katie? Do we need to give you Fennis wine? Did you not see or feel that? Because that was intense. I saw it and felt it. Yeah. Everyone's starting to feel self somewhere. Okay. If something is... Wait, if someone is malform wait, if something uh, someone is malinformed about vampires, I want to give them a chance to be informed. That's why you came here, right? Because you didn't know too much about vampires, but you wanted to know more. That's true. I'm just hoping I'd get to meet a lot more people like you, Caitlin. Hope you can too. Wow, that was cute. Mm. We're done. That's the end of the blood donation. I well already. Yep, we're done. Finish all clear. Here are some some chocolate and juice. Oh, we got chocolate instead of biscuits, or some <laughs> energy. When you're finished, then you can come to the front. <coughs> oh, my throat's very dry. Ah, oh, uh, too late. Where he leaves the room, huh? That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I even got a chocolate out of it. I guess I should eat this and then go to the front. Wow. You like my voice acting? When Caitlin goes to the front of the cafe, Marie's already there waiting. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Marie. Now that your blood donation's over, the tour is officially finished. Thank you for taking a watch for your participation. Thank you for donating and doing this tour. I think I learned a lot. That's great. What's the difference between learnt and learned? English spelling and other ones. Is it really? I thought so. I have no idea. I'm really glad you think so. We're going to be doing a lot more activities in the future, so definitely come back again if you want uh, to see what we're up to. I will! Here's a little tote bag with brochures. Oh, we got a tote bag this time! What the heck? I think you'll find them That's pretty what interesting. I literally just said. What? I literally just said that. What? That there's tote bags everywhere. When? Earlier. Where? Key to the recording. Wish for, I wish for nothing to happen. And you're just crazy. <laughs> but I know I'm not crazy. Mm hmm Remember, you're a member of the of our tomato club now. You'll always be welcome here if you want to visit. I'll try to visit soon. I bet there's a lot more than I can well, I can learn. I'll make sure to have more stuff ready soon then. If there's anything in particular you'd like to learn about, just tell me. Okay, I'll think about it and let you know. Cool, I'm looking forward to it. Coolio! <sighs> I'm sleepy. All right. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Sure, I was a little bit surprised, but I think it's really cool that this place exists. Oh, that's really nice of you to say. You're proof that there are humans who are okay with vampires, and I think there's a lot more out there. Sure, we received hateful threats. That's true. Mm, that place is in vibe school. What? There's no pluses in vibe school. There's no pluses in vibe school. What's pluses? Positive. Positive? You can have like streptococcus, streptocephalococcus, or like the highest in. We're talking about nonsense again. <laughs> okay, what I'm studying in my head, I guess. <laughs> I'm just hoping there will be a lot more like you. People like you, I hope you can too. The music turned up higher. And we're done. I'm the donations. What already? Oops. I think I just skipped through. No, wait, that's everything that we've seen. Yeah, we're fine. Um, load. I'm gonna push the. Oh, that's all the blood donation. Or, sorry, I just. Caitlin, don't apologize. It's okay. You don't really have to explain either. I feel okay. Do you think you can sit up? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Wait here, I'm going to get you some snacks. Okay, I bought some chocolate in the juice box. Sorry, it's actually just fruit flavor. It's not real fruit. Oh. It's fine. 
I'm the one who should be apologize. Caitlin, I said it's okay. It's only totally fine to change your mind. For blood donations, consent is very important. Thank you for telling me that you wanted to stop. Try some of our chocolate and the fruit juice. Feel a little better? Yeah, actually, thanks. That's great to hear. If you're feeling better, I'll walk you to the front of the clinic. Here's a little, here's this little tote bag that was a souvenir. It has brochures about the clinic and just general vampire info. Thanks, Maria. I'll look, th I'll look through them later. No, thank you. Katie? Mm. We're going to have a tours in the future, so I hope you can come back again. So, Katie, what day is today? Katie? Yeah, what was the question? What day is today? Actually, today is like Tuesday. It's Tuesday? Mm -hmm. It's Tuesday? Mm. No, it's 33. It's 33? Mm. What's 33? Katie? Normal. It's normal? Yeah. I'm gonna move Mikey a little bit so we can have the mic like really pointed. Alright, Katie, so what's the square root of four? Two. Oh, you did it. Katie, can I have your blood? <laughs> Katie, you're basically almost caressing my face. This is weird. Where's your face? No, this is weird. It tickles. <laughs> um. Katie, how old are you? Twelve. No? Twelve. I mean, eleven. There you go. Mm. So, Katie, what's your favorite drink? Water. What's the positive? What? Oh, hydrogen. Yeah, there you go. Hey, right. why is it hot? Why is it a positive? Because there's a proton. Good job. Oh, well, if you get rid of the electron, yeah, it becomes a proton. I think- oh, we didn't do all the options yet, we did one more. One more. You just don't donate blood. Sorry, I don't want to donate. You don't have to apologize, we're really happy just to have you here for the tour. You're always welcome to come back too. Both of us and I enjoy taking you through the store. Plus, you're a part of the tomato club now. Even if Gaku didn't show it much, I can tell he liked doing the activities with you. Thanks, Marie, that's really kind of you to say. I enjoy the tour too. Well, we plan on putting on more tourists in the future, so please do come back if you want to. I will. Cool, I hope we'll see you again soon. Yay, thank you for my- you're welcome. Yeah, I mean, um, um, let's say the cross. Um, nice sleeping coffins. Uh, missed. Looks like you got all the questions wrong. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'll give you a chance to try again later, too. Hopefully you'll remember the answers next time. I'm gonna get all the way wrong again. Um, I got perfect. Really? Yeah, yes. Hmm. Anyway, I'm surprised. It's, I'm supposed to be a tour guide. Uh, first activity is. Yeah, same thing. Um, I think I'll pass. I'd rather not do another activity. What's wrong with this one? This doesn't seem like my thing. If you say so. Oh, shoot, I should have saved here. Whatever. Anyway, I need to prep for the next activity. Wait here for a bit. Uh, actually, I don't want- I didn't do it. Oh, that was something that bothered you about it, huh? I'd appreciate if you'd let me know. I'm s I said this before, but we are still really new to this. Oh no, sorry. I just didn't really want to do it. That's okay, don't worry about it. Thanks. Sorry, I got a bit off topic. I'm actually here because it's time! For a request! Time to do all the questions wrong! Unfortunately, I got things wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, I made a boo boo. I can't get that one right. Cool, I think I should be back in the time soon. I'll leave you to do it. Okay. Um, no. I don't think so. Not that I'm, I'm not okay with blood donating or anything. It's just that I'd rather not know the whole process behind it. I think knowing the details would make me anxious, if that makes sense. Got it. I'll, I'll get Marie. She'll keep you a company for a little while. I'll prepare for the last activity. They're preparing all this activity. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I did say no. I ain't getting water. It's probably really boring. We're just cut out all this. I just want to see all the. Uh, I want to see if there's like another ending or anything. It's time for another request. Which means time to get them all wrong. My third with this, and Mary told me the answer twice already. It looks like you got some stuff wrong again. Maybe I wasn't really good at teaching. What? No, I. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's my first version of the quiz, so I'll probably need to revise it some more. Actually, I'll get started on that right now. 
Oh yeah. Akito will let you know when he's ready, so just stay here. This appears different direction this time. Is it time for the last activity? Actually, I think we're just going to skip that today. Oh, huh? Well, you didn't participate in the first two activities. If you weren't comfortable with those, I don't think you'd be comfortable with this last one. Aye. Anyway, that means it's the end of the tour. Could you head back to the reception area? Maria will be waiting for you there. I'll just head to the reception area then. <coughs> oh god. Uh, Lumen's back there. Oh, Loom, whatever. Um, huh? Marie isn't here yet. Walks to the room. Hi, Loom. Hi, Marie. Coco told me to wait here, back here. Right, well, um, normally this is when we ask you to consider donating blood with uh, with us sometime, but Coco and I talked about it, and I don't think either of us would be comfortable with that. At least as things are right now. Is there any problem? Uh, for a vampire blood donation, consent is really important. From both of the sides of the equation. Akatu and I just didn't feel comfortable asking you for a blood donation. And we don't think you'd be comfortable with getting one giving one either. Would it be okay if I come back come again? Of course. We'd love to ha we'd be happy to come to have you back again. We're always open to people who want to learn more about vampires. Maybe next time you'll be a bit more open to learning about uh, more about us. I'll try to be. Thanks, Loom. I'm I hope we'll see you again soon. Mm. Okay. That was the ending. No spooky reveal? What's the news? <gasps> I really want to play this game. I've seen this game around. It's so cute. Kitty's like full blown asleep. Wow. Like she's like legit fully asleep. I just wanted to see what happens if I just reject everything and just because I'm pretty closed minded about most things. Um. But yeah. Sorry if, your friend, or sorry if your name is Loom. Um, I don't mean it to be that you are. I just got too lazy to type everything out. <laughs> um, but yeah. Katie is legit passed out. Uh -uh. <laughs> I've been saying that for the past, like, couple seconds. Uh, what is this button? Oh, I think it's autoplay. Uh, yeah. I think that's everything. If not, if it is, I'll just call us all, all the solid. Fucking like English. I'll just cut this all out, but if not... Oh! I wonder... Hmm. So, I participated in everything, but I did all the incorrect answers, and not only Gakuto is the uh, an option for me to donate blood to. Huh. That's interesting. Did I actually do something right with him? I think I, I, think I did everything incorrectly. Uh, I'm good. Does, does he get to open up to me? Uh, oh yeah, he does. Okay. Ah, that's about, that's interesting though that like even when I get everything wrong, I you know I try to be, I try to be open-minded, but I just get you know, I just don't understand some things. I just get everything wrong. It just for some reason Marie, I can't give it to Marie. Only Gakuto. Hmm. Hey, Katie! Hmm. Like, oh, Katie! Mm -hmm. Guess what happened, Katie? I have no idea. Yeah, I guess how much guess how much time has passed. A lot. But like, what do you think I've been doing? I have no idea. I've been clocked out. I played the game like four times. Really? Three times. Three times. I think three times. Sure. Yes. I right, we started the game uh, twice, but I um played through the entirety of like our saves. Yeah. Wanna go sleep, Katie? Let's go sleep. Good night, my god. Mm -hmm.